Hi, I'm Tina, and I'm here today at the Glendale Adventist Positive Image Center with Christine Locker, who is one of our young people who has done amazing things in this community. And today we're going to find out what you did, Christine. Well, I gave back to the community in Glendale by redoing Ingeborg's Place Apart, which is this room right here. And well, at first I just was kind of doing it to do my Girl Scout Gold Award. And so my mom knew Terrell McDougall, who used to be the positive image coordinator at Glendale Venice. And I knew her through National Charity League, which is a charity league in Glendale. And she had told my mom about this project and that they were looking for somebody to redo this room. And so my mom was like, well, this would be a good gold award project for you. So I decided this is what I would do. And then a couple months after I decided to do the project, I found out that my grandma was diagnosed with acute leukemia. And so the project really began to hit home and I really wanted to do this for the women and give them a center um, where they could be calm, a place where they could feel at home while they were undergoing treatment. So it really took a more personal aspect out of you to, yes. to get this going. So can you tell us a little bit about what you actually did in here to, to change the room? Um, well, with a little bit of help from my family and a couple other Girl Scouts, we repainted this room. Um, we put all the sconces up where the wigs are displayed. Mm -hmm. And we raised money to donate a TV so that when the women are in here they can watch TV and we donated a few DVDs. What was the reaction from the community? Well, they had a ribbon cutting here at Glendale Venice and I got to meet Ingeborg's husband, Dr. Zern, and we both got to cut the ribbon together, which was very, very fun. Mm -hmm. And actually the cancer patients had made a book for me and it was like a book of thank yous. So there was like 20 notes in there of like thank yous and how much the room meant to them. I know you're leaving to go back to college soon, but are there any plans, uh, more plans for the community of Glendale in your future? Well, not right now in Glendale, but right now I'm actually working on a project to get started back at school, which is actually a project from La Cunada and it's to feed the homeless, and so I'm actually trying to start that same program back where I am at school. So Christine, is there anything that you would like to say personally to the young people out there that may wanna you know, start to give back to their communities? Well, it's not as hard to give back as you think it is, and you can do the littlest thing, and it'll make the biggest difference in somebody else's life. And just get out there and do it. It's easier than you think, and it's made a lot of difference here at Glendale Adventist and their Cancer Center. Thank you for joining us. What an inspiration we've seen. Wow, makes me want to, actually, you know what, no, it makes me look at my youth yep. and go, you know what, a great youth, and it makes me want to do something more than I'm doing now. You? Yes, absolutely, and these young ladies have shown us and other teenagers out there how easy it is to do. What's the message, you guys, to other teenagers about um, giving back to the community? What would you say, starting with you, Leah? Well, it's, it doesn't take that much, it, it is hard work, but it's actually very fun and yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> Hard work, it's fun. Go ahead, honey. Um, I think everyone should do it. For like it was a great summer thing we did and for sure more summers to come, so and it, it, it that result was really great as well. So and you don't um it's really it's not only is it fun and like you feel good after you do it, it's it's easy, it's it's you you feel good doing it, you feel good after you do it, so there's no reason you shouldn't. We well, feel good because it's not about you. You're actually exactly. doing something for other people in a bigger cause. And how interesting that all of you work for cancer services, participate for cancer services. Christine, final thoughts for you. What do you, what do you want to say to someone that thinks, I, oh, I should, I shouldn't, I can't, I won't? What do you say to that? It's not as hard as you think once you start doing it. And so it's not as hard to make a difference in someone else's life. Well, and all of you girls I know are so busy. So what a gift that you gave yourselves, your time, and the inspiration to others. And I want to backtrack, and you also had a good time. You are amazing. And I know for a fact you've changed me. And I know you've Absolutely. given back to you guys Cater. And the inspiration. Thank you so much for being with us and sharing your stories. I know you're, you're all busy girls. Teenagers are totally busy. But you've shown that you really can make the time and give back. And it can be fun in the process. And make a difference. I'm excited to see what happens next year because I'd like to order a couple T-shirts, and only can only imagine where you end up. Seriously, like the next president. So, as we invited you, join us on Facebook. Please share with us an inspiring story that has changed your life and the life of family and friends, and we will get you on Healthline. Now, throughout the hour, I've been talking about this great young boy named Gavin Dinger. He was born 
having had a stroke in utero. That is something I seriously have never heard of, and it's a remarkable story. And I've been able to spend some great time with him. He is a magazine. Look at that face. Cover supermodel. <laughs> and what's so beautiful is Gavin knows where he comes from. He knows he suffers from having had a stroke when he was a little boy. He is so participatory in the Glendale News Press Downtown Dash, co-sponsored by Glendale Adventist Medical Center, that there's an award named after him. For anybody that raises $5,000 or more, you win the Gavin Award. To spend more time and to know who Gavin is, and here is Gavin Dinger. Here I am with the Dinger family. We have Heather, Gavin, Hayden and Rick, and they are not new faces to the conversation of stroke and Glendale Adventist Medical Center. How are you doing, Dinger family? Very well. Heather, you've been in the conversation of stroke for quite a while. Yes. What is the most important thing about stroke that you say to anybody? We talk a lot about warning signs, and we just had um, a very personal experience where um, a friend's mother was not talking quite straight, and he knew exactly what to do asked her to smile, asked her to raise both hands, and they got her very early intervention. And she is was home within 24 hours with absolutely no repercussions and no aftermath of the stroke because she was treated early. What does it mean for your family to be able to participate in this event? You know, it's actually kind of fun. So we get to celebrate Gavin, and uh, he helps raise money, and he really enjoys the play to learn. They've really helped him, and. He's able to play basketball and he rides horses now and he's on a swim team. Uh, Gavin suffered a stroke in utero, but he is here and he's going to be walking the route. Rick, what would you like people to know about stroke? That if you get immediate treatment, you can uh, take away all, this, all the uh, long-term effects. Happy to be here today, Gavin? Yes. All right. Awesome.